Back in October of 2018, I set out to learn how to make games and to publish my own game. So I followed a few tutorials and I launched right into making Space Gladiators, thinking it would be a 3 months project. But now, 2 years later, the game is still in early access and I'm still working on it. And I wanted to share a few reasons why I think that happened and why that happens to a lot of people. So first off, as you work on your game, you're going to improve as a developer and you'll want to redo things or improve things all the time. For example, at first my game didn't have a map, mostly because I didn't know how to implement it, but then it became clear that it would be a net improvement to the game to have one. Even though I had basically completed my first vision of the game, which is to have a few arenas without a map, the game wasn't as fun as I thought it would be, or that it could be, with a map. So instead of starting from scratch and making a new game with a map, I thought I would just add the map on top of my current game, which would make the game last longer, take longer to finish. But at least I didn't have to re-implement all the collision and recreate the object player and the camera and the menus and stuff. Basically, you did a bunch of work and since it's your first game, almost no one is going to buy it. So you don't want your work to go to waste, so you keep building on it. The second reason is that there are a lot of hidden tasks that you don't know about before you start making your game, but that you'll have to do anyway. This can include managing delta time, managing your texture pages, managing your resolution, making remappable controls, integrating Steam's API, improving your performance, and many other things. And the third reason is that the bigger your game is, the longer it takes to do anything. Compiling time will get longer. At first it will only take a few seconds, but after a while, it starts to take 2, 3, 4, 5 minutes, which adds up a lot. Every time you add something to the game, you have to make sure it doesn't break all the other things that are already there, which is pretty easy to do when you have only a few hundred lines of code, but it gets exponentially harder the more lines of code you have in your project. I made a second game called Lost Potato, and I finished it in a month, which is basically the same amount of time and work that it takes me to make an update of Space Gladiators. Now this strategy of building on top of your game all the time and keep working on the same game can definitely work. For example, I've sold about 1200 copies now, which I would never have sold if I stopped working on the game after a few months. And I've met a lot of people through the game that I probably wouldn't have met otherwise, mostly content creators and players. But the problem is that the more time you spend on a single game, the more money you will have to earn to make it all worth it. And you also have more chance of burning out on game development because you're working on the same game for so long without finishing anything. If I had to start again, I would probably try to make the smallest game I can without trying to make money off of it, just to get an overview of the whole process of publishing a game from scratch, and also to learn more about my engine and about how to make good animations and stuff. This way I wouldn't stay stuck with bad assets or bad code that I have to work around all the time. I've been writing a few emails every week for the past year or so, talking about things like this, which are a lot easier to do for me than videos. So if you're interested in receiving those, just click the first link in the description.